Hello, my Sagittarius, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. And I, of course, am Debbie. So now I'm reading for June 9th through the 15th. Um, I know I'm late, but I did. I explained and I did an overview of everything that's going on in the, you know, in my overview video. What time to get moving or something like that. Anyway, take a peek at that. Also, too, I am, you know, want to remind you that these are general readings. They may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. I'm getting this very strategic type of um, thought patterns with you. Very king of swords, king of air energy. Looking at your future. Um, I don't know. It just feels like you're, you know, you're, you're, you've got, you know, one of those things. You've got your head in the game. You're really very focused, and I don't know if that's focused on your work, your job. It could be, or on that, um, even your, your career in itself. I just feel very focused energy. You're very laser sharp. You're very laser precision. Now, you may say, well, I don't really feel that way. The thing is, it's because you haven't tested yourself. You know, so when it comes to a point when somebody asks you a question, it's like, you'll be like, this is the answer. And people will be like, well, how did you even know? You might not even know. You just say, hey, I gave you your answer. I just feel you're very sharp this week. You're very focused. You're very, um, you know, you, you know what needs to be accomplished. So trust yourself in that, okay? Don't second, don't second guess your instincts. I think that's it. Many times over, um, you know, you start second guessing. Oh, look, I told you the king of air. So there you go. You're king of, very king of air energy around you. Anyway, let's go on. Higher power, what else would you like to say? Holy Spirit, what else would you like to say? to our Sagittarius. It's very focused energy. You know what you know what you know. Don't let anyone um, tell you differently. Okay? So we got these two are reversed. This one is not. But this is the one that I was telling you about. This is the one that I was feeling all, it was very much as I was getting ready for you. I uh, just feeling very, very king of air. So air energy is our Gemini, which, you know, in the beginning, the overview I tell you about, it's also Aquarius, which again, I tell you about. It's also Libra. It's your thought processes, thinking things through, making some plans. Now, the king is a double energy. The underlying energy to the king is air. So you've got an air, air, sword, sword. Very sharp, very focused. Now, the only thing about this, and, you know, maybe that's why we have this um, ace of water, the water energy. The only thing about the king of air that can be a considered, and I don't even know if it's a negative, is that he just goes after what he wants to go after. You know, he does, you know, it's just basically, this is what needs to be done. This is what we're going to do. I don't want, you know, I, King of Air can be a little bit rigid, but the thing is, it's like, you know what you know what you know, okay? So this King of Air, brilliant, impartial, professional, diplomatic. You know what you know. Very strategic energy going on right now. And and when we see this one, it's a very strategic, it's like, I want this and I'm going after this. I know what I know what I know. Speak your mind with confidence. Even if you don't feel confident, you know more than what you think. Um, seek out professional advice. Balance mental and emotional considerations. Now we have this next to it, and this is the ace of water. So these are the two, they fell out, right? They fell out. And this one fell out um, reverse. So this has a really strong energy for you. So now we have that ace energy. Ace is a one new beginnings, new start, new direction. Your water energy is your Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. So Pisces I talk about, Scorpio is that nor is that south node. Um, you remember the south node is your history. It's, it's what you've got to release and get rid of. And then we're about to go into cancer in, what is it, the 21st, I think, of June. So that's, it's water energy. It's spiritual energy. It's fluid energy. It can be also romantic. But it's something you want. This is, a, this is something that you've been waiting for, that you've been hoping for, that you've been wishing for. So something going on. And because it's something very deeply personal to you and very deeply emotional to you, you have to stay very, you, know, you have to keep, you have to be impartial, you have to stay logical, you have, you know, this is about going after a dream, going after something that is very, very important for you. 
Now, it talks about falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, and many times water energy does have that. But it's also, again, it could also be about an old dream, an old want. Spiritual growth and enhanced intuition, a new home. So it, it just has a very emotional beginning to it. And that's why the King of Swords, the King of Air, is like saying, no, we've got to be smart about this. We have to go after this smartly. We just can't be all this emotional, yes, yes, yes. Now, I'm not saying you don't pray, you don't meditate, that always. But again, you've got to keep... You've got to be smart. This is one of those times, and again, you're very laser-focused right now. Okay, next card, reversed again, awakening. So you have a 1-2 energy here. 1, again, new beginning. 2 is our crossroads, our choices, our decisions. 1 plus 2 is a 3, which is celebration, creation. Now, we can also look at it as a 10 plus a 2, and 10 is transition. Now, Archangel Gabriel is the divine messenger, um, you know, very, you know, Gabriel, I'm kind of getting a, both a, and Gabriel has both a masculine energy and a feminine energy, and I do feel like the feminine energy goes along with this ace of water. It's something you've been wanting, something that you've been, um, you know, maybe you've been wanting it now, maybe you have even, you know, you've been very close, it's like you've almost touched it, you've almost been there. The thing about Gabriel, the thing about the awake, about awakening, the thing about the hanged man, which is what this is, it's it's like it's like you know that thing that I'm always saying. If you always do what you always did, you'll always get what you always got. So it's time to do something a little bit differently. Okay, uh, it's time for you know don't do what you've always done. And some of it could be that you maybe if this was a relationship. Maybe you've always, you know, like just thrown everything at it and just gone hog wild and just, oh, this is what I want. And I, you know, yes, yes, yes. This is about doing things a little differently. And I also feel like you need to, this king of air is telling you to protect your energies and to protect, you know, just kind of, again, be smart. Okay, be smart about this. It doesn't mean it's not going to happen. This ace of water is something, it's like, yes, this is where I want to be. But, again, you want to be smart about it. You want to do things a little differently, okay? So, hanged man energy. Look at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. So, when I see that now, you know, to me, it's like whatever, it, maybe you have been trying to fit into everyone else's mold, Maybe, you know, if this is a relationship, a love relationship, maybe you're the one that's always giving and you're not taking, you know, you're not doing any of the taking and you just keep thinking, but if I give, 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 then, you know, then he, she will just, you know, just love me to pieces. The thing about it is um, that's not how this works. It's important to be yourself. And I know part of you is this person that does give a lot. But again, we go back to the King of Swords. You've got to, you know, you've got to be focused. You've got to be strategic, okay? And then the awakening energy is says that basically you've got to do things a little differently. Now, I'm, I'm shuffling and these things pop out. So let's see what we've got going on here. All right. So now, okay, we've got a whole bunch, but, you know, but they all popped out. So let's see what we have. So we have a four, and this would be your four of air, Okay. Four has stability, organization, and leadership. This is the one that tells you to rest and rejuvenate. This is the Four of Swords. This is the one that says take time, meditate, but it also is saying take time for you. Many times over my, my, my Sagittarius is you rush in and you give so much that you, that you, you, know, you, you, you use yourself up, okay? You use your energies up. This one again, air energy, air energy. Think about things, take care of yourself, and meditate, connect with higher power also. Next card. Now, this is your energy. It is a six. We don't have any sixes here. So six is the number of man. It's the energies you put into something. It is fire energy. It is Leo, Sagittarius. It is Aries energy. It is, you you know... Remember to take care of yourself. Remember to think things through. Look at things a little bit differently. But this is all about victory and success. You know, but you have to do these other steps. 
first, okay? It's about being strategic. Now, we have the throat chakra. We have a five. Five is about change. Chakras are these energy sources. Now, there's many chakras, but we talk about the seven. And basically, from one to four is your physical. Four to seven is your becomes more and more spiritual. So we have the five. We have the throat chakra. So this is about you know make, speaking your peace, speaking your truth. You know, showing again. Remember, it's it's important to be yourself. This is about showing who and what you are. Now, when the chakra is, when, when chakras are, it's kind, think of it as like a camera lens. When they're too open, the throat chakra can be very, like, you know, just like give everything, can be a little bit verbose, can be a little bit, you know, over eager, can be just very much, you know, in your face, talk, 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 talk. When it's closed, it can be very meek. It can be very, I don't want to tell anything. I don't want to talk. So you want that. You want it to be a very balanced chakra. You want that balance between too much and too little. And you want to be able to say who you are. Okay? This could be a lesson for my, my um, Sagittarius. Is, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes you're both. Sometimes you can be very verbal. And maybe somebody needs a little break from that. And sometimes you can be very nonverbal and you need to speak up a little bit more. Okay, now let's see. We have this one. This is reverse. So let's go on to here. This is a nine. Nine is completion. You've got everything you need. This is the nine of water. This is the wish card. This is the wish card. And the wish card, not this one, but in this deck has come up twice before. So there, this is a time of great hope, great wishes. This is a time where it just says fulfillment of wishes. You have an opportunity this week that doesn't come along often enough. It does come along, you know, more times, but it doesn't come on along often enough. Now, our last card here is balance. This is where all of the, um, you know, if you notice... All of the energies are here. You've got your rod. Okay, well, I want to try to get this focused. You have your rod, your pentacle, your cup, and your sword energy. Now, the only thing we did not have here is your sword, is your pentacle energy, your money energy. You have a 1-1 one, one energy here. 1, again, new beginnings. 10, transition. 1 plus 1 is that 2. Choices, decision. This is balance. Now, the 11 in traditional tarot, major arcana, is about justice, is about justice and, you know, karma, karmic justice, things balancing out, coming to that point where it needs to be. So you have actually gotten the two, you know, the two um, major arcanas, but this is that, you know, now it could be legal justice, but Generally, um, when it's in this deck, it's more about karmic justice. Karmic justice happening. Things happening the way they need to happen. So, interesting with that too. Keeping balance. All, everything, and again, that kind of goes along a little bit with that, with the cards that we're talking about balancing your mental and your emotional energies. All right. Let's go on. So we've had those. Those all fell out. A lot of good energy for you. This is, but again, it's about keeping, you know, keeping your, keeping your focus. Strategic energy, okay? What is it that you want, my Sages? And what have you done in the past that hasn't worked for you? Okay, so if you can figure that out, then do something different. All right, let's see what we've got going on here with the Angels of Abundance for my Sagittariuses. What do we have for our Sagittariuses here? What do you have, Angels? Angels of Abundance. Here we go. Obstacles and blocks are lifted. That's lovely. Here we go. Can we get that in? Focus, focus, focus. There we go. All your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward mo movement with your projects. 
Stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. I love that. Obstacles and blocks are lifted. Now, I am going to ask the angels for some answers, so get your questions ready. But before we do that, we're going to do our crystals and energies. Crystals and energies for our Sagittariuses. What do we have for our Sagittarius? What's there for our Sagittarius? What will be helpful for our Sagittariuses? Here we go. Sagittarius. Here we go. Reversed. Blue topaz. Okay. So, finding a spiritual ally, higher wisdom, abundance. Again, abundance forgiveness and you know what I always say about forgiveness it's not for the other person it's to let you be free all right you don't have to go back to that person you don't have to have that situation in it frees you it frees your energy all right let's see get your questions ready let's see what we've got here what questions do we have for our Sagittarius's somebody about moving on moving um, again if you've got if you have any, uh, that's how I'm going to answer that one. I, I'm picking up the moving. If you if you look at your star chart, you know, your astrological chart, and if you have some Scorpio in something like, you know, your, well, your ascending, um, your even, eh, your ascending, and your Jupiter, I think. Your ascending or Jupiter, I think then you're going to be moving. Okay, something with, you know, if you have some Scorpio in your chart, I think that there's going to be some movement because I felt really strong movement for them. So, yeah. And again, I was picking up somebody like, am I, am I going to be moving? I think you will be. Okay, let's see what we've got going on here. Sagittarius, back to Sagittarius. Is for the question, again, this is more for fun. But let, oh, let's see. We get, I get excited when we get the blue one, blue or the yellow, because it's more definitive. What's the answer for our Sagittarius? reconsider reconsider so what does that mean now again I'm not telling you to make life choices based on that but did that answer your question my Sagittarius is all right do me that favor please take that moment to like share subscribe clicking on that bell for notifications if you're watching me in rumble rumble me as always, though, my Sagittarius's always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.